I'm Kevin Hang. I'm a theoretical astrophysicist who is interested in exoplanets, planets around other stars beyond our solar system. I am currently a professor of astrophysics at the University of Bern in Switzerland and the director of his Center for Space and Habitability. My name is Jens Huymakers. I am from the Netherlands, but I've worked at the Center for Space and Habitability in the University of Bern and the Observatory of Geneva for a little over a year. My interest is the study of the atmospheres of exoplanets uh, using very large telescopes that are spread out all over the world. Kelt 9b is a very hot gas giant planet. You can imagine it as a planet that is somewhat similar as Jupiter in our own solar system, uh, but it is located very close to its host star. And that itself is not necessarily special because we know of many planets that are like, like this, we call them hot Jupiters. But this planet is orbiting a particularly hot star as well. And that means that it is the hottest exoplanet that we know exists today. So what we have discovered in the atmosphere of Kelp 9b is that it contains, in gaseous form, uh, heavy metals such as iron, titanium, chromium, and other heavy metals that have never been observed in the atmosphere of a planet before. In the atmosphere of Kelp 9b we have detected a number of heavy metals, and two of these are what we call rare earth metals, scandium and yttrium and these have not been observed in the atmosphere of any planet before. To study what the atmosphere of a planet is made of, astronomers make use of a technique called spectroscopy. So the light from the exoplanet system will reach our telescope, and the telescope, instead of making a picture, it will feed the light into the instrument called a spectrograph. And the spectrograph acts to disperse the light into its individual colors, like a rainbow. Now this rainbow will tell us how bright the object is at each of its individual colors. But the material that is present in the planet will absorb colors at very specific places. And uh, for many, uh, for many atoms or species, that can be a very complicated pattern of colors that is absorbed. So you can think of that as some sort of a fingerprint. Every atom has its unique pattern of colors or its unique fingerprint that it absorbs. So by passing the light through a spectrograph and seeing at which colors the light is absorbed, we will be able to distinguish which elements are present in the object, even if it's many light years away. So one of the reasons why we are so uh, interested, almost obsessed with this technique is because it's very general. It makes us think of molecules and atoms as fingerprints of an exoplanet. So once you accept that idea, you can use this idea to search for anything you want. In the case of Calc 9 b we searched for metals. But you could imagine in the future that we could use it to search for biosignatures, so signs of life in another exoplanet. 